What's up, y'all? Your boy KP, Nerds Rule the World, and I'm here to do another infamous trailer reaction with my pal Glenn Lawrence. Glenn, we've been enjoying some Disney Plus content, man, and we've done, you know, season conversations on various series, uh, the Marvel stuff, the Star Wars stuff, and all things in between. Uh, we got another series heading our way. Uh, this one into the in the Star Wars universe again, Glenn. I'm talking about the acolyte. You ready to check this one Ooh, out? Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. It's a good name. Close your eyes. Oh, the young wings. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life, balance, I see fire. Fire. Ooh, okay. carry him off. Mm -hmm. Hey, nice. We're we'll getting Matrix vibes in Star Wars here. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? What is that? Man, I wanted that trailer to go longer, bro. <laughs> Acolyte coming to Disney Plus yeah. on uh, June 4th with a two-episode premiere. What do you think of that one, Glenn Lawrence? I, I, you wanted the trailer to go longer. I wanted the premiere date to be sooner. Um, <laughs> it, looked, it looked dope. Here's the thing. Looking at that trailer, it made me think back to when we got The Force Awakens. Yeah. And I feel like if, if we are honest about The Force Awakens, some people didn't like it. Some people, uh, but it was kind of on the fence of whether people liked it or not, and it was going to be determined by the next couple movies. And I think the Force Awakens was a good entry, but then they kind of fumbled around with the with the next two, which yeah. made people not like it. And if you know the story behind it, they kind of did like some rewrites and they changed the directors and all this stuff. But the the way that the Force Awakens was kind of going was to have this thing where anybody could be open up the world. It's not just this these two families that are going at it anybody could be a jedi and there's a lot more stories of jedis throughout the universe than you know what we've seen before and it really opened up the star wars universe i say all that to say this trailer looks like it is in that vein and i'm here for it it looks really interesting it looks fun it looks like there's going to be more than what we've seen before i'm hoping they lean into that and they don't do kind of what they did with uh with uh mando or, or boba fett where they're like oh we got to bring in luke skywalker it's just like how many times are we going to see the same characters in exactly. a, a, a huge universe with planet size you know, intrigue. How are we going to see the same five people just recurring? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see that that in my own life. You know, and and, and I'm gonna see it in in a universe in a galaxy far, far away. But anyways, um, it looks fun. It looks like it's a good time. I I love getting more into the Jedi story. Uh, Carrie on Carrie Ann Moss, of course, is uh, amazing. So I can't wait to see what they put together. What about you, man? I've talked a lot about it. What about you? What are you thinking? No, I completely agree. And uh, yeah, you're you're exactly right. Uh, as a fan of Star Wars, uh, you know, the both of us, we if you were a super fan, you know that they made changes while they vent to certain group of fans. There's other group of fans that wanted to see the difference uh, like you and I, uh, at least that's where I'm, I, I feel you wanted that beforehand until they made those adjustments. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, so I, I'm I, so then I'm with you on that. Like. I wish they could have built it out because there are more. It's such a wider, it, it, a bigger universe. I, I wish they would have done that instead of keeping it. While we love Skywalker and all that, 
there's so much more. And yeah, uh, it would have been amazing if they'd done that. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I agree with you wholeheartedly. I see that that's what they're doing here. I hope that is what we're going to get and we're not getting played by the trailer. Um, so keep expanding this universe. Everything looks great here. Uh, I love that Carrie Ann Moss, who we love from The Matrix. I love that she's now in the Star Wars universe. Amanda Lost Stenberg, uh, my Asian brother that's in there. I see Daphne Keene here, who we know as uh, X. Bro. Uh, the the X Men universe. That's what I'm like, the most some amazing about. Uh, actors in here. Um, I'm excited as fuck. I can't wait. Uh, so Disney, uh, please hook, get the, get us that early hookup like you were doing with all the other uh, Star Wars installments that you were doing on Disney Plus. Uh, so we can talk more on that and we can return to giving those episode breakdowns like we used to do uh, yeah. from Disney Plus when they're uh, letting us know. So listen, super bro. excited. I think both yeah. of us, hands down, Daph Spanish Daphne King. Out and acolyte come on now let's do it Yo, daphne king bro i'm i'm so hyped for that to yeah i have uh, i get, think the last thing we saw i saw was, uh his dark materials but logan I, she burst on the scene with that killed it. That, that was amazing killed it literally figured like the whole nine uh i'm excited about this bro i can't i i'm, I'm excited to watch i'm excited to get back into the star wars universe uh yeah there you go definitely all right y'all we are all about the acolyte let's go Let's make it happen. And uh, yeah, as we get the info and we watch it, uh, we'll probably be talking about it, doing our reviews and everything uh, on the channel. So let's let's continue on the conversation in the comments. Uh, all of our links are uh, in the description as well. Hit us up. Let's talk all things Acolyte, y'all. Let's do it. Peace.